Guys, welcome back to another episode of Main Street Mower. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're asking the age old question, what oil should I run in my lawnmower? Whether I have a Toro or something else, if I have a Kawasaki or Kohler, which oil filter is best? Um, there are a couple options out there and it can be a little confusing, especially depending on where you live and heat range and that sort of thing. Today, we're gonna be talking about the Southeast United States. You know, we're in Florida, we're in Central Florida, and there are some different oils throughout the United States. But if you are in the South, this is the video for you, check it out. Uh, I'm gonna give you some quick answers and then stay tuned for the explained longer versions. But the quick answer is, if you have a Kawasaki on a Toro, you're generally gonna be running the 20W50 Kawasaki oil, and they give you two oil filter options. Both will fit on your machine. Both uh, will seal and not leak. Really, their size difference is just your frame, if it'll fit, right? So that's for if you have a Kawasaki, and if you have a Kohler, in general, you're gonna be running the yellow stuff, right? This is SAE 30, just standard 30, baby. And for the South, that is what we prefer for the really, really hot months, this is the best. But you can also run 10W30, and that's gonna be very, very similar to this if you live, you know, Northern Florida and maybe Georgia and Carolinas, 10W30. And then you have the yellow filter or black filter option, right? And both of these will also work on your Kohler. There are some availability things. The yellows have been really hard to get lately. The black will work. So we recommend the SAE 30. We carry Kawasaki oil, even though we're putting it in a Kohler. This is very specific air-cooled engine oil and Kawasaki makes a great oil, that's why we carry it. But if you can find Kawasaki or Kohler, the main thing is you want that air-cooled engine oil. Okay, so if you have a Toro, what oil do you run? Well, if you have a Toro engine, you also run the yellow cap, the SAE 30 or 10W30, and you're gonna run Toro's OEM filter, and its part number is 1367848, right? There are some aftermarket options that we have tried, like the rotary and Stens filter, they leak, they all leak. You need to go OEM or it won't work right, trust me. Guys, that is something I have learned and learned the hard way. You know, as a dealership, I see tons of machines come in. The number one killer of a lawnmower, like the destroyer of destroyers, is not time, is not age. I mean, that will always get all of them. But what kills them prematurely is people neglecting your oil. And it's so easy to do, guys. I have a video, how to change your oil, It'll right over here. It's very simple, we break it down, it's easy to do. Let's kind of get into the specifics. Why is there a difference? When does that change? Because when I first started in this industry, it was all yellow. It was all 10W30 or SAE30. Everything ran on it. It was the only thing we had to stock. Everything ran the 30. It was a lot simpler back then. What's kind of happened is a few years ago, maybe 10 years ago, eight years ago, there were, were a valve issue in some of the Kawasaki's and after a certain amount of hours, around 1600 hours, the Cowies were dropping valves and they would blow up, not explode, but they would, they would damage, right? And so Kawasaki realized they need a slightly thicker oil and they started to go with the 20W50. And since then, they've also figured out how they are welding their valves and all that sort of thing. And they've completely stopped having that issue. I don't see valves drop anymore. And the oil has been a big part of that fix. Generally, most Kawasaki's, if you're in that 541 to you know 900,000 range, is gonna take about two quarts of this stuff. You always wanna check. You wanna can put two quarts in and then check. Or I would put around one and three quarters quarts in and then start to add until I get to the right amount. You might wanna have a spare quart on hand so when you go buy it for an oil change, buy a filter, buy three quarts, and just have the third quart on hand. Cause some of these engines take 2.2, some take two, some take 1.8. So it's not a bad to have three on hand. But in general, if you put two in there, there's always some residue from your oil change. You're gonna be really, really, really close with just two on most of these engines. Every Kawasaki, the 2050, and then there's these two filters. The filters are two different part numbers. The description will be in the description box below. And there's a skinny, long, and then there's a short and wide. They're both gonna work for you. They both thread on the same and its mounting flange, its plate has a wide enough uh, mating surface that even if it's smaller, it seals perfectly. And if it's bigger, it still seals perfectly. So you could switch them. It's really amount of preference and your frame size. Sometimes your engine frame is a little tighter and you can't fit this one in there just right, right? And you might need that little bit smaller, skinnier filter to get in there. Um, one thing I will say is that the longer ones are a little easier to get your hand on. You know, when I wanna undo them, these come on, uh, I think the 36, 36 grandstand, you can just grab it a little better, right? But I think they both have the same filtering power, the same amount of filament inside of them. And so they're both doing the same job and you can't go wrong with either one of them. 
As far as the Kohler goes, pretty much all your EFI run this. All of your carbureted Kohlers run this. For a long time, anything that was EFI was coming with yellow, and anything that was carbureted was coming with black. Just recently, I guess during all the demand things, they've switched to only black, and we've had yellow on back order for months and months and months and just got them in today, and that's why we're making this video. They call this the Pro Filter, and this was kind of the standard filter. But both work, and they've installed the black from factory many times, and they've installed the yellow from factory many times. So I think you can go either way. They both mount the exact same. They both seal the exact same. Just make sure whenever you're changing your oil, you always check your O-ring, get it nice and wet with oil first. It's always good to add a little oil inside your filament to pre-soak it. allows that oil to flow a little smoother, and that's just the best way to do it. The only exception to the Kohler yellow rule is the big block Kohler. There is the big block Kohler with the filter mounted on top. It's a vertical mount filter. The 980 cc big blocks are gonna run three quarts. It's bigger, it takes more. So if you have a big block Kohler, you're actually going to use the blue. That's the only exception to the rule. 2050, you're gonna run three quarts and then you're gonna use a yellow filter. And the reason for that is pretty similar to what the reason Kawasaki switched to it. They were noticing they are having a couple issues on some of the earlier models and it's a big volume, they want it, they have a lot of oil in there and so why not make it a little thicker, make everything a little bit safer. That's the one caveat about the blue and yellow rule is the big block Kohler. And that's the big, big block, the big one, the big one, great big one. As far as Toro oil changes go, they're gonna use the yellow, they're gonna use the Toro filter. Don't use aftermarket, but they also use a little extra oil. They use 2.25, I believe. So you're gonna need to buy three quarts. You're gonna put both in there, and then you're gonna start checking and start adding with your third quart uh, for your Toro engines. It's not that complicated, guys. I hope this cleared some things up for you and makes sense. So guys, the question is, how often should I change my oil? We know we got Kawasaki, we know we got Kohler. How often should I change it? If you look at your standard manual, it's gonna suggest 100 hours, but that you should check it and top it off every day. But if you do the math and you've talked to the manufacturers and the warranters like we have every day, uh, you'll know that if you wait 100 hours, you're actually kind of taking a major risk. These engines, all of them, Cowies, Kohlers, they're made to burn oil. And that might not sound like real to you guys. You might not believe me, but seriously, that is the truth. They're made to burn a quarter ounce per hour. And that is just how they do EPA stuff. It's how these engines are built. They kind of, as they run and get hot, they consume less. But as they're warming up every morning, when you crank it, there's a puff of cloud of smoke. Uh, that's just a part of that oil consumption. And that does not mean the engine's broken. It's just how the engine runs, right? These are a little bit dirtier engines, right? So they burn a quarter ounce per hour. So if you wait for that 100 hour mark as per suggested, and you forget to top it off every week, you're going to be 40% low on your overall volume of oil. So say you're supposed to have two quarts, you're only gonna have 1.25 quarts in there by by the time you get to 100 hours. You know, if you have a truck and it normally takes six quarts or eight quarts and you're driving around with three quarts or four quarts, you're putting a lot of extra heat and strain on that engine. And these are air-cooled engines. They don't have a radiator and coolant to keep them cool. They have air and oil. So if you are 40% low, you're doing some major damage. So to reduce that and to prevent major engine catastrophic failure, there is a caveat in all of your manuals that will say extreme conditions change at 50 hours. And that is what we recommend. We recommend you change it at 50 hours. That is a much better timeline. You're gonna burn less oil at that time. You're gonna have less breakdown. As you break down your oil and start to burn your oil, it's gonna break down faster. The difference between 100 hour oil, which is about the color of this table. It's brown, it's like a brown bag. And the difference between that and black tar is 50 hours. If you wait to 150 hours, you're gonna have less than a quart. You're gonna have like three quarters of a quart of oil in there and it's gonna be black. It's gonna be black as this bottle. It's gonna be black as this filter. It's gonna be black, black, black. And it's not gonna be traveling through here anymore. It's gonna be bypassed by your bypass valves and you are on your way to a new engine out of your own dime. And so guys, that is why we recommend changing your oil at 50 hours, using the correct oil and doing it often. Guys, check your oil often, add to it. If you're gonna wait for that 100, be adding to it. Like that is just the deal. If you're gonna wait for 100 hours, you're gonna need to add at least three quarters of a quart over that time period. So just pay attention to your oils level and take good care of your machinery. That way you can keep that engine within its warranty period 
and enjoy it for a long, long time. Guys, I'm Chip with Main Street Mower. For other helpful tips and mower reviews and things like this, please check out the rest of our channel and give this baby a like and a thumbs up. We appreciate you. Have a good day. See you.